Good morning. It's Monday morning, six o'clock, nice and early. Got our 32 hours in. Done all my daily checks. Everything is good to go. Turn you on. So I've got half a tank of fuel. It probably won't get me all the way there and back. Uh, so I may stop at that fuel place that I did last time, the AS24. Fill up the tank and then that will get me down to Italy and back. Um, what else? Oh, payment card for the old tunnel. I haven't got that. There we go. Need that for the tunnel because it works for both. But apart from the tunnel, everything else is plain sailing. I don't think we'll make Florence today. It's about a thousand odd kilometres according to Google. And I can only theoretically do a maximum of 900. We'll drive as close to 10 hours as we can and see where we end up. But yeah, the fuel station is not too far away. Probably, what, 30, 45 minutes away. And off we go. Left. The guy to the left of me is gone. And I heard someone else go this morning. I didn't hear anyone leave at 10 o'clock. So there's no sadists among us, anyway. Back under the bridge, and then turn left. Where we came from, no entrance. So, if the other side was full, we wouldn't have got back in there. A5. Away we go. This is our junction. So same as last time through the toll booth. Straight over at the roundabout. Did you really spend your weekend off there? Well, wouldn't have been my first choice. Is that a delivery? Luckily the pump's on the right of free, which is the one I wanted. Diesel was the yellow fuel pump. Number eight on the right. Okay. About there. Cool. Fill in the details and then go and fill up. See how far we get. Depending on uh, how much drive time I'm on, I might stop before the tunnel just to make sure that I have got the hours to get through the tunnel and out the other side. But I don't know quite how long it's going to take to get down to the Fres. Paris, no, Dijon, yes. Getting towards the outskirts of Lyon now. Go through the, the final toll booth. So the motorways around the cities tend to be toll free. So I'm going to leave the tolling area, go around the outskirts of uh, Lyon, and then start heading towards the Fresh Tunnel. Beep, green light, 
cool. Away we go. This is a huge bit of tarmac. You can land a plane on it. Sun's out properly now. There's not even a cloud in the sky. Look at that. It just suddenly changed once we got past Leon. How strange. As the service is coming up, I'm going to stop in this one. There's no point trying to run the hours down to the max. Air de Il de Abu Dabu, or something like that. Oh, low grill, very nice. Straight on for trucks and buses. Really frosty here. Yeah. It must have been cold last night. Park on the right here by these vans. Yeah, so where I was parked, it was all grey, miserable, and drizzly, and it's been clear skies all night here. Mm, still a good two, three hours away from the old tunnel. Was it 270 odd kilometres? 90, 180, so it's about three hours to Turin, so it must be about two hours from the tunnel. The mountains are starting to appear, <clears throat> and the first of many tunnels begins. <coughs> so the sign there just said no overtaking. The vehicle was over three and a half tons to maintain 60 meters distance or every blue light basically, which is what we're at about now. A little bit over just to be safe. So it's quite grey and cloudy all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, blue skies and sunshine. Went into a tunnel, came out the other side. It look like this. No. Okay. Uh, and we started passing signs for the Freyas Tunnel as well. 115 kilometres. Euro 4 or above. ADR is acceptable. Now I believe, if I've looked it up correctly, there's a checkpoint for this tunnel, but it's only for ADR trucks. If you're not ADR, then you don't need to stop at the checkpoint area. And then again at the top, ADR trucks have to pull over to the side like fridge trucks do at St Mont Blanc. I think everything else can just go straight through. There was a sign back there saying ADR. ADR load, you are required to come off here. I'm not ADR, and neither is that guy. Those two are. And that's the entrance for the services if you don't need to stop. And that's the very last one before the tunnels. Here we are. ADR off to the right. Everything else straight on. Okay. ADR, no. Attention, the thermograph control does not remove the responsibility of the driver who shall remain in final judge of his vehicle's safety. That light's green, okay. This light's green, okay, cool. Wait again. Green light, off we go.
ADR's waiting to go. We're in. So yeah, no control unless you're ADR. 70 max, minimum 50, 13 kilometers. Here we go. Ceiling is a bit low. Zoof. And there we go. Italy. A little bit of snow on this side. There's a parking area if you want pictures again. Don't particularly need to. Is that another parking area? Don't need that. The Savizio. It's a bit weird how we come out of the tunnel and then the speed limit drops. Oh, there's even fuel look. 180 a litre for diesel. What was that? Petrol maybe. 173. It's more than it is in France. Trucks to the right. Cool. Camion. Uh, so where the trucks park then? All we've got is bus ones. Around the back here, is it? Oh yes. That's a bit strange. Okay. One way in, one way out. I'll swing around then, so we're facing the right way. Second and final break. That's a lot of salt. <clears throat> Looking more white than red at the bottom. <laughs> no, it doesn't look as horrendous. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's going to take a lot of scrubbing. Right, brake is done. Four hours of driving left. There's a few, there's a handful of service areas. There's no routier type of places in Italy, or certainly not the bit that I'm going to be driving on. So we're going to be parking in a motorway services tonight. If we don't hit any traffic, we will be doing all right. We'll easily get over 500 miles. Camera's picking up that creaking, that's the lead axle on the trailer. There's some sort of system that's hooked up to the ABS lead, it weighs the trailer and then it determines if it's light enough. It dumps all the air out of the suspension and then it inflates another airbag and it jacks the front axle off of the floor. So I've only been running on two trailer axles the whole way down it. Progress has slowed down somewhat. I've hit a massive section of just continuous roadworks. Cruising along 30, 40 miles an hour. Swap from one side of the road to the other, and then back again. Oh no, what's this? Everything was going quite good until now. Welcome to the bright lights of Genoa. Not 
far from the bridge. But, uh, yeah, anything over 12 tonnes has uh, got a, a speed of 60 kilometres now, which is really eating into my time. This should be the bridge in a moment, right after we come out this tunnel. There we go. Come out and onto the new bridge. This is it. Oh, that looks quite nice. Shame about the traffic. I think that's ruined me. 480 miles. Unless it just gets up to full speed pretty quickly, I'm gonna have to stop at the very next services and there's no way it's more than 20 miles away. Uh, one thing I don't know is whether this bridge was built in the place of the old one or if it was like shifted to one side. It looks a lot better than the old one. The old one was really ropey looking in a poor design. There's a quick bit of it, but oh, very nice. Lots of bridge piers, instead of just two. The cable stayed design of just four cables, so there's zero redundancy if anything goes wrong. Two kilometres to the services. More traffic and speed limits. Uh, 490 miles. Not going to make it. Ruined at the last possible minute. It's not looking good. Trucks to the left. Trucks to the right. Might have to. Stick it in the car park. Or be cheeky and put it along here. Because there ain't no spaces anywhere else. to do. The heavy haulage is getting that one. Uh, yeah, there is no more space. I'm gonna have to see if I can get away with this. <laughs> it's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Delivery address in the UK. Oh, Sunningdale. Okay. It's a very large private house with room to get an Arctic in. Okay. The place opens at 8 o'clock tomorrow. I'll work out how long it's going to take me from here to Florence. It'll be at least two or three hours, I would have thought. I think that traffic's knackered everyone up. And I'm now blocked in. Cool. <laughs> uh, that truck that pulled in behind me is gone, so I've got a little bit of room to reverse back. Got a container truck here. There was another couple parked alongside him last night. There's one. There's no one alongside me. The only thing left, if I back up a little bit and turn hard left, will the back end of my trailer kick out and hit those bollards or do I have to drive up into that gap? reverse back a bit out into that bit somewhere and then I'm good to go I think it's doable well, that's just typical shortly before I want to go someone's parked alongside me now I think they've parked forward enough that I just can't quite get out yeah no one's parked alongside me all night 
and in the moment I want to go, someone's there. Absolutely typical. I'm about good to go. He says he's going to be about another eight minutes or so. Well, I think he said oak chub. Hopefully it doesn't delay me too much. Oh, I was just about to say, it's been eight minutes and he's still there, but he has just fired up his engine. He's off! He's away! Hooray! Just over ten minutes. Oh, not too bad. My tail end would uh, get those bollards. Let's see if we can get out at this angle. So that there should give us a good idea. Yeah, loads of room. It's about 15 minutes later than planned, but uh, yeah, it could have been worse. And look at this. The Italians don't understand the concept of a slip road at all. see it but it's starting to get light in front of us and the silhouette of the mountains looks really cool pretty good down the coast now not too far from my turning uh, a11 towards uh, it should be it should be signposted Florence at this point here we go Firenze See that it's like a smaller version of what the other mountain was. The light behind and the silhouette of the mountain. It's pretty cool. I think this is the junction I want. Shout Italian driving about. The first road on the right. Ah, car four. Perfect. Could probably walk back to there if I need to. Down here, I think. Campani. I'm going to need you to go. Just about round. Yeah, getting out there is going to be interesting. Quarter past eight. So yeah, I would have been bang on if that, uh, that guy hadn't kept me blocked in this morning. Stop here for now, and uh, see what it, everything's all about. The guy says I'm loading in the afternoon, which is uh, not too bad. He's going to try and see if he can speed up the process. 
in the meantime, I'm going to park along those trees there. It doesn't half creak when it's lifting up. Park along the tree line here. Uh, it's not amazingly tight against the trees, but there's plenty of room for a truck to spin round if it needs to. G. We're attempting to go shopping. Yeah, I think it's going to be easier to turn right out of this junction rather than try and cut right across the road and turn left. It's full already. Supposedly a McDonald's over there, so I might be getting lunch later. Oh, there is a McDonald's. And it's huge. Hmm. I'll remember that for later, but uh, shopping done. Time to go back. That sun is actually quite warm. In we go.
There we go. That's it. Half a load. Eight pallets. That's the curtain shut. The final thing to do is grab this. The TIR cord. Run that down. There's one that side. If you're going to behave. There's one that side there. One that side. So unwrap them and then throw them down the side on the ground. String them through the side of the trailer. And then I've got a seal somewhere down there. That little red bit there. And there we go, all sealed up. Corded all the way down. It's the TIR, I'm gonna assume, like most three letter acronyms, it's French. Probably something to like Transport International Routier or something like that. Nowadays it's more to keep people out rather than deal with customs. It's 10 to 1. And I haven't had any lunch yet. Can you take that off for a second? Go all Parisian on these people, and uh, we're gonna let that pass now. I do. Just catch the curb slightly, but oh well. That road's a bit on the narrow side. Yeah, it's supposed to wait for two o'clock and then. There he was with the paperwork. So I've got some sort of like pre-customs document, along with all the other paperwork you'd normally get. Which in the before times, you get that, right out of CMR, off you go, no problems. As now, I need the little pre-customs form document thing. I now have to go up to a place called CAD Europol, like a customs house. Uh, sort out the customs T forms and whatnot to. Oh, what's going on with all these Italians? Uh, get the T forms, get me back to the UK, uh, and then I should be good to go. Autostrada A1, yes. Parked your car right on the corner. useful. But on the buses, this is one of the ways you would come into Florence. This is the north entrance to Florence. On the left, under that roof, is the new tram line that got built in 2019. And that tram goes all the way into town. Parking coaches and cars, oh, that's annoying. I was hoping I could get a truck in there. Park up there for 45, because there is toilets there, and then you can get the tram into town. So you turn off on this little inside junction here. That leads you to an office, the North Permit Office, where you pay the <laughs> Mafia tax. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, city permit to uh, drive your coach in there, which is definitely not overpriced at 600 euros or 500 and some euros. Well, 
I've done is a massive loop down round and coming back up the motorway because I came off at this junction just here. There's the IKEA that we went past. So it's about a two and a half hour drive to Palmer. Bit of a weird bit of the A1 here, it splits into two roads. Uh, yeah, A1 to the left, A1 VAR to the right. They don't go anywhere different, they just split and then come back together. And I don't know this, but it's what I was told on, uh, on my training trip for the buses that the A1 is the original road and it was built back in the day uh, when technology wasn't quite so advanced so it sort of wiggles its way around the hilltops through the valleys and this goes all over the place and it does quite a bit wiggle about all over the place here uh, and the A1 VAR was built much more recently when technology was a bit more advanced and they just tunnelled straight through all the hills and that runs in pretty much a straight line as much as possible. You can run at full speed and it's a lot quicker. So this is our turning, Palmer. We we'll go down this little back road, turn right. Follow that round to the industrial estate on the outskirts of town. Dogan, Costa. Where is this Europa? He has a Rioja, yeah. They dress like that. Dogana to the right, yeah. Cool. And the guy said, park up in the middle. after the stairs whatever and wherever that is try and work out this building the guy said one side's import and one side's export and I want export so we'll work it all out as we go. Paperwork. I eventually found it. I think I've visited every room in the building nearly. But I got there. Handed in my paperwork and the guy said, come back, one hour. Okie doke, cool. What's it now? Quarter to four in the afternoon. So by the time the hour's up, I'll already be on the 12 hours. Is it worth trying to press on, or do we spend the night here? There we go, T1 form got. That's all the bureaucratic hoops jumped through. I believe, I'm just waiting for the boss to confirm it. Earth T1 form CMR. All the other paperwork seems to be there, apart from the pre-customs form, but that's what I'd expect, because <clears throat> that was used as part of getting the MRN. Uh, yeah, we're good to go, cool. Back on the motorway, and see how close we can get to the checkpoint for the Mont Blanc tunnel. Three hours, five minutes, according to the trip computer. Lights are on, everything looks good. Let's make our way back to the motorway. Very 
very helpful traffic that was. There we go. Cruise on here for another two and three quarter hours and see how far we get. Easy as that. There is a service area, I doubt it's got a space, but it's worth a try. If nothing else, it gets us 50 yards further up the road a bit faster. car weren't there, that probably wouldn't have been a bad place to go. No spots there, okay. Right, we'll give this services a try. It says next one's 25 k's. I've got 28 minutes. So I get in here, cool. If not, looking like it's going to be one of them little lay-bys. Uh, it's probably going to be a lay-by, okay. Ooh, dear, 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 dear. I think this is the one I parked in last time, wasn't it? And there was a sneaky little spot around the back here. Oh, park it in front of that gate. No luck tonight. I mean, I could be cheeky and stick it in behind here, parallel park. Uh, it's a bit, a bit cheeky, but it should go. Uh, it looks a bit like a loading bay, I won't chance that. in front of him so he's got a little bit of manoeuvring area. See I can get easier in here easier than the other guys because it would be on their blind side. Go. Yeah. That gives him a little bit of space up front to move. I've got a little bit of space as well. So now I got back to the UK in two days from here. So I will take that, what's that, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I'll be back in the UK, I can make Friday delivery, cool. I haven't been told when it is, but I can make a Friday delivery if they want it then. Right, I'm on a nine hours, and I've got to be fairly quick, sort the cameras out, a bit of dinner, get clothes ready for tomorrow because I'm not facing customers anymore so I can take this off. Yes, I am working tomorrow. Yes, it will be a night out. Right. I'll see you in the morning, bright and early.